Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, we're back for the third season, New Jack Thriller City. Man, y'all give it up for yourselves, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Yo, we got a real special show today, man. But first, man, give it up to my DJ, DJ Simone. Let's go. Hey, y'all give it up to my co-host, Lil Playboy. Yo, 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 what up? Give it up to my other co-host, Gigi McGuire. And give it up to my other co-host, Damn. Erica Dutchie. <laughs> And y'all give it up for the guest of the hour he hails from Adamville, Georgia, man. Hello. This is one of the funniest niggas in comedy right now. He on tour right now with all the big names. Hello. 85 South, uh, 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 yep, yep. Mike Epps. Hell, hell, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit. Going on tour with Martin soon. Come on, man. And whatnot. Uh, uh, y'all have seen him on everything. <laughs> Apollo, when that shit was on. Come <laughs> you. He probably was there. He could have been on that shit. He could He could have been on Def Jam. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? I think he just did Comic View for real, though. You know, in Vegas. Uh, 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 right. Like I said before, he one of the funniest <laughs> niggas in the You can see him on wretchedpeoplemeet.com, man. Y'all give it up for Money Bag Mafia. Let's go. Yeah. Man, Money Bag, what's up, baby? Same ball, different draw. Man, the same goddamn balls, different draw. Oh, hello. How many draws you got at the house now? Shit, I don't even wear a motherfucker no more, man. That's why I said, you know, switching it up, doing something new. I've been free balling lately. I can dig it. I can yeah. dig it, man. How has that like changed your life and whatnot? And when did you know? You know what? It's over for these draws. I... <laughs> it's over for these draws. I'm canceling my draw. You canceled your draw. Yeah, man. I can they navigate. Too far. They went too far. Mm -hmm. I can navigate better without them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Easy 100%. Access. Yeah, man. We 100%. Over, yeah. You, you, you got there. But the only problem is the pressure. The, the pressure, man. When it comes to them goddamn, uh, 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 cause I'm a sweatpants guy myself. Okay. I'm a sweatpants guy. I try to always make sure I got a big enough sock. So you know what I'm saying? You know, I, got, I, I'm, I'm fooling them. I'm fooling them. Triggering them. You dick fishing. I'm dick fishing. Okay. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Bro. You got any <laughs> suggestions or you got anything that any, any, any techniques that I could do to know what I'm saying? Raise up my pussy gang when somebody stand in between my legs of the female uh, uh, persuasion. You just got, you got to go get a, a BDL. A DDL. Yeah. It's a DDL. Dominican Dick Lil. It's a DDL. I know somebody that got one of them. Hold on. Hold on. You know somebody who got one? Yeah. yeah. This is a real yeah. thing. Yeah, I know somebody that got a DDL. And, and what does this So consist? basically a BBL is Brazilian butt lift. That's okay. when they give you lipo in, in you know, any region where you have fat and they take that fat, harvest it, and put it into your butt. Okay. So we like to say DDL because it's the dick. Okay. Um, but yeah, they can a man can get lipo and that fat could be harvested and put into his penis. So, and it, it's gonna make it uh it's gonna give it some girth. It's gonna make it a little chunky. So it's gonna okay, so not lymph. No, my, not lymph. Not lymph. Yeah. I have <coughs> a dick shaped like a baby jar. Well, so you don't need you don't need it then. It's not gonna do nothing for you. Cause you don't want it you don't want it to be too damn wide. You still want it to be able to fit. One hundred percent. I definitely want to be able to fit. Yeah. Because if the dick don't fit, you what? You must have quit. You, you must have quit. quit. You must hit her with your shit. Look at E. At that particular point, then it's time to strap on. It's then it's time to goddamn strap on. Uh, money bad, man. So you know, like let, let's start. For, when does comedy start with you, bro? Bro, uh, really, all my life, man, I've been silly as fuck, man. But, you know, to turn it into something lucrative, you know, me and Fly started out with the Vines, started out doing Vines, and, <clears throat> you know, moved over to Instagram, and motherfuckers started paying you to promote their shit and all that. When niggas started saying it could be, you know, you could make money from it, then we start, you know, transgression from that. He did stand up first. I really followed the nigga footsteps as far as the stand up and shit like that go. But from the jump, we was doing skits on Vine. That's where it all started. Do it for the vine. Do it yeah. for the vine. And that back vine was like, was it four seconds or six, six seconds? Six seconds. You had to be funny. That's why I said vine was different. You really had to be funny in six seconds. Yeah. Like you had to be different back then. It's hard to be funny in six seconds. It's hard to be funny in six seconds. Well, it ain't hard if you really funny. If you if we talking about skits though on oh, the phone, yeah. like naturally funny, that's different. Yeah. But I'm talking about to actually make a skit in six seconds, like that's a lot. Money bag, why you think uh vine don't exist no more? I don't know. You know, everything, you know, grow, move, it change. You know, same way we went from Vine to Instagram. That was a different time and era, though, man. Like the I mean, it's Vine technically era. TikTok today. Yeah. That's what Vine is, TikTok. Six seconds just ain't enough. Oh. Six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. When you're when you paying for it, it is. 
Oh. 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 Touche. 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 Hey, was you sick when Vine had them became obsolete? Because it was like that shit was like overnight one day. Yeah, I, I wasn't tripping about that shit because we had already moved in. We were doing both, like Vine and Instagram. And then, you know, like a lot of shit be getting watered down. That's like Instagram today. That shit so watered down, bro. Like they won't let you be raw as you want to be. You know, you know my, my content, dirty. You know what I mean? I do my thing. I, I talk crazy. My shit be getting deleted. So I be like, fuck it. Do you care at this particular point? And you know, or, or you do you feel like you are uh, censoring yourself and you you pretty much walking on eggshells? Hell yeah, I do care. I actually miss shooting how I used to shoot, but it's like I'm thinking like, why well, put all that thought into something that they gonna get deleted anyway? You know what I'm saying? So I just don't even take the time out to do it no more. I'm gonna start doing. I rather do TV, man. If y'all gonna, you know what I'm saying, talk shit, at least at least let me get paid for it for real. What about YouTube? You don't want to just YouTube same way, you know. Yeah. The, it's certain shit you can't say on there. Only it? fans. It's hard to modify. Only fans. You can With say whatever you want on only language. Fans. See, it ain't all about porn though. You could do. Yeah, you a freaky frog. <laughs> no, that's the truth. <laughs> uh, for real. That's the truth. Only There's a lot of people on only fans that pop shit all the time. Porn. Is people doing comedy on there? It's it people the doing a little bit of everything. Yeah. I would think about doing comedy porn. Comedy porn. Yeah. You gonna but, be, get the fuck out of here. No, no, not <laughs> like butt naked on stage. No, not like being naked, but comedy porn, like like change change it up. Like change it. Not just like role playing? No, like like being sexy doing telling jokes. Like not. Like getting fucked in the ass and then mm -mm. telling jokes at the same time or no. No. <laughs> No, no. You know I like so, to fuck. So fuck. wearing you know lingerie, like yeah. yeah, wearing lingerie and and sexy. yeah, and just be like knock knock, who's there? Oh, sexy voices, sexy yeah, souls, and uh -huh. making it funny. Knock yeah. knock, who's there? What? You ready My to come? Underwear. I don't know. Like that. <laughs> 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 My underwear. Ready to come where? Yeah. Oh my. I ain't think they'll, they'll ready pay to come for your shit like this. On my face. How'd you know? These people will pay for it. They, it's a lady that just show her toes and get paid like three hundred thousand. She said a week for just showing. Her I mean, well, that's understandable. Niggas have foot fetishes. Dang. Listen, niggas, people niggas selling fart in jars and huh? all types. Niggas of shit. don't want your jokes. For OnlyFans. Man, play with your coochie. Play <laughs> <laughs> with your pussy. Oh, yeah. I don't want to. Don't, don't even talk for real. Just play with that. Well, well. I don't even need to see my face. Now, hey, Gigi got OnlyFans. Hey, Gigi, your husband turned only up. Fans. I have OnlyFans. Oh, 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 now, let me ask you this. Tell, tell, tell her what you're doing on your and money back. Would you subscribe? So my OnlyFans is just really me showing my sexy side because I'm not the girl that's going to put my ass on the sink in the bathroom and take the selfie. Like, I'm not doing that on my Yeah, I'm not subscribing. But I'm going to do that on my OnlyFans. I'm not doing it on Instagram. But on OnlyFans, I'm giving sexy. I used to be a stripper, so I'm still dancing. I got a pole in my house. I'm doing pole tricks. I'm twerking. And, you know, it's giving body. I, I got a little something happening. So, Damn, you know, we'll it's full nudity. However, I am not a porn star. You I've know, never it's full been. Nudity. It's full nudity. You butt naked. I'm butt booty naked. Right. You want know to see? Showing the hoe. Yeah. 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 yeah bring up so, so, cause, so we could, for research purposes. So it's it's definitely giving um <clears throat> it's definitely giving nude. However, um I I'm not there's no porn. I'm not right. sucking, I'm not fucking, I'm not licking no coochie. Um yeah. see I could I'm not never doing subscribe that online. To no fan, bro. What about what about playing with your the squirting online? You squirting online? So um so basically I do custom orders. So you can get a custom order. Hold on, cut, cut, cut. Money bag. Can you give her a custom order? Yeah. Go ahead. I want you to fart in a jar, put the top on it, and send it to me. I would do that. How much you doing that for? <laughs> um, I want you to catch a fart and paint it for 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 four thousand dollars. I would do that. <laughs> Got it. Done. You gonna paint the fart? So <laughs> I'm gonna do what he need me to do. Damn. I'm trying to find a picture where I'm actually new. Okay, here's one. Yeah, pass it. Yeah, pass it. plate. Pass it. Mm. Oh. I'm Jack King. Yeah, tell me what's going on. <laughs> you get that for me. Tell me what's going it's, on. It's worth the, the subscription. Mm. So that's what you're so, going to get just for the subscription. You're going to get that on my timeline. God damn. All right. But in order to get anything more than that, <laughs> it's a- <laughs> Hold on, wait, hold on. You see it, Jack? You see that motherfucker? Boy, that motherfucker look good. And, <laughs> in, in order to get anything more than what you see right there, it starts at a, $150 a minute. Minute. So you only you getting naked for a hundred dollars off the rip. I'm getting naked like that for the whatever the subscription price is. I don't even know what it is right now. I think it might be seventeen ninety nine. I do a lot of sales. 
I do a lot of like 50% off, 62% off, 69% off. It just depends. Phone up went black like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 he just blowing on it. I don't know, man. I can't subscribe. No, I, I haven't found one woman I subscribe to because... I, I just go on my phone and, you know what I'm saying, just got gotcha. so, so something, yeah. You ain't never subscribed to OnlyFans? Oh, nobody? Nobody, bro. Man, I, I see like a lot of old high school people, shit like that on OnlyFans. I'm like, man, I always wonder what this shit look like. Come on now. See, I'm going to pay this for I'm going to break the Da Vinci Code saying? for you. Go to Reddit. It's Reddit? all on Reddit. It's already on Reddit? Yeah. Hold on. Everybody on Reddit? A lot it's of free. It. 90% of on OnlyFans. OnlyFans is on Reddit. A lot of my shit is on Reddit. Now, let me be honest. I done looked up a couple. Hence why I'm only giving what I just Did you see my vagina? No, uh, I, no, no. I, I no, no, you did not. I no, was fully I, I nude, to, I but you did not see <laughs> nah. Little Miss Cockatoo. Right. And How you hide it? You want, you, you want to see? How you hide it? You, My vagina. You tucked it. <laughs> I did tuck. I honestly, I, I, I absolutely did tuck. Wait a minute, I got to go back to it. I'm lost. That's all right. That, hey, do you know your coworker? Now, if you want to see it, you can pay more to see it, but I'm not just going to give that for the subscription. He'll see like the print. Yeah, I mean, that's all you're going to get. But they want to see the whole thing. They want to nah, see the pink. Yeah. Uh, they want to see the clip. Some click. people on OnlyFans got they it bust open. They want to spread that thing open. Slapping it with everything in they, uh, underneath their bed and in the sock drawer. Oh, all well, the different. toys. It yeah. get real, right? Yeah, yeah. They, compared I, to that, that's like This is very much for women that got like vagina. Her style, her own. vagina kind of be so she can tuck her. My eyes so little, you're going to see everything in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that. Oh, yeah. I, it is it is pretty fat. <laughs> yeah, she can tuck her. She got, like, meat. You know how big a pussy got to be for you to tuck it? Yeah, that's how I look. It got to be fat. Look, look yeah. under, peaks under dress. Yeah. I'm tucking it right now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sitting on that. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Like a fish. I oh, yeah, I'm man. sitting on the whole thing right now. God, but yeah, I'm here, I'm here for all It works for me. You know, to each their own. It works for me. It definitely pays some business. Mm. Hey, what's going on? You know what time it is. Come on. That's right. Jack Beauty of the Week, hosted by Gigi McGuire. Show me the honeys, Gigi. Let's go. Who's coming with me? It's me, your girl, Gigi McGuire, a.k.a. Miss Show Me the Money. It's giving Jack's Beauty of the Week. And today we have here with us the lovely... Mac Mustang. Come on, Mac Mustang. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting in. I'm getting in. How you now. doing, girl? I'm good. How are you? Can okay, I ride with you? looking good. Look gorgeous. Thank you, Damn. It's getting so, hot. We're um going down this questionnaire with the starting with the basics before we go a little spicy. So it's giving age. I'm 33. 33. Ow. Sign. Aries. Aries. Fire. Mm, it's getting <laughs> hot in here. Okay. Take off your clothes. Period. And what's your hometown? I'm from Atlanta, East Side. Oh, it's come on bad. now. Decatur. Where it's greater, baby. What's that? <laughs> Always. Come on. Read in high school. Latonia. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. She said get it right. All right. And um, to spice it up a little bit, what is your sexual interest? Are we straight, gay, bi, a little curious? Um, I'm bisexual. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Talk Openly that shit. Openly bisexual. Right. But when I'm on the side, I'm on the side. So have you ever been in a relationship with a woman? Yes. For yes. my longest female relationship was three years. Oh, wow. Okay, so you really bi. See, I'm like fake bi. So I'm going to suck on some pussy, right? But I don't want to be in a relationship with a girl. It's, it's, uh. it's different, but it's not different. Yeah. I can't really do it no more as a older woman because... Because what? Because I can beat them up. <laughs> we don't need no domestic charges, okay? We need to stay all the way away from Rice Street as possible because exactly. it's dangerous over there. Oh, we got a live one. All right. Um, what is your favorite sexual activity? So we're going beyond just position. What is your favorite thing to do when it comes to sex? I would have to say sucking dick. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, you got to be good at it. Oh. I'm top two and I'm Listen, not two. Okay, because <laughs> when you love something, when you love doing something uh-huh. and you enjoy doing something, you are very, very much good uh-huh. at It's giving, we're uh-huh. going to practice until we can't get it wrong, let alone get it right. Hey, okay? Gigi. Gigi, she just said she top two. She said she top one. She said she is the one. She said it's it's giving one one of one. None before her and none to come. Gold hey. medalist. Okay. God damn. I ain't never had no hit like that before. Shut. Whew. Damn. Um, 
So what are your thoughts on the whole 50-50 relationship situation? <sighs> are you splitting bills and rent with Bay? I don't even, I don't have thoughts because I don't think about it. Okay. Oh, damn. So it just ain't happening. It's, we keeping it far away from Mac Mustang. I play my part and he play his part. And his okay. part is to provide and protect. And my part is to nurture and take care of my house mm-hmm. and our children. I'm here for that. God I damn. am here for that. There's so much going on these days when it comes to that conversation. Mm. And there's so many women who are like, yeah, I'll do that. I feel a lot of times women that automatically jump on the side of, oh, well, I don't want no nigga taking care of me. So you didn't give and pick me? No, I give, I, it's given they never been given that opportunity okay. before. Damn. They have not had the experience to know that that's so they're just So they're just picking the side that they always been on okay. anyway. Talk that shit, man. All right. Mac aggressive. Um, <laughs> have you ever faked the orgasm with a woman? That's good. I can't recall because if it's not him, you split. No. Ain't nobody trying to it's, hear that bullshit. My biggest thing is I just like to fake like I'm asleep. Okay. Like I was a little too drunk and just passed have out. Have you ever fell asleep on the dick? Have I ever fell asleep on the dick? Yeah, like with it in you or in your mouth, perhaps. Yeah. I might have been a little too tipsy and little. just decided, like, man, I still want to suck your dick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, snoring. I like this slobbering. girl. The slob coming down and <laughs> unintentionally getting the dick wet still. I, I like that girl. He ain't move it, so yeah. we just... Okay. We I get back get to, to it, it when I wake up. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. I uh, know that is right, honey, Miss Mac Mustang. Is she, she breathed through her nose. Facts. Okay. Oh, I like it. So let's go, let's keep it in sex. Let's go with, what would you say is your greatest memory in the bedroom or in, in anywhere having sex? Like what's that one time that you just replay in your mind every once in a while and you like, damn, that was good. That was the one. I was having sex with the guy, I would probably put him at the top. He probably was my the best, the top of the top. And he used to ask me to slap the shit out of him. Oh yeah. While we was fucking. Okay. Like, it's been like especially like if he know he pissed me off. I'm here for a little sexual aggression. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so he would just like kind of let me whoop his ass. Yes. That that get my pussy wet. I like that. I slap a nigga too. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, girl. It's good talking to you. Let's give the people your info because you know they're going to be checking for you, girl. So let them know how they can find you. Um, I am underscore M-A-C underscore Mustang on all platforms. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Take it top. Everywhere. Okay. So, so <laughs> money bag. Yeah. You, 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 when did you start like, like noticing that? Yo, I'm popping now. I'm popping now. Where, where, where are you? What time is it? Um, and what's the epiphany that you have? Oh, really? When people was would say like, yeah, like if my sister be like, yeah, I told him you my brother, and they ain't believe me. I was like, oh, mm. shit. hey, that's the best. That's the best. I said, oh shit. Yeah. I was like, nigga, oh, yo. I had to pull up pictures, old pictures of we was babies and all this shit. I was like, oh yeah, nigga, pop. That's real. Yeah, yeah. That's when your family be doing that mm-hmm. shit right there, mm-hmm. cause nobody don't nobody believe my mama. Right. Nobody <laughs> fucking. And I want to, my mama be trying to use me to get dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm all bullshit aside. All bullshit aside. Don't do my I swear aunt to God. like that. Don't do my aunt like that. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Uh, I don't like it. it it's, it's very embarrassing. And I always tell these niggas, hey, I, I hate on my mama too. Like, I mean, I don't know that bitch. Damn. <laughs> I'm cock blocking like a motherfucker. <laughs> no, fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> the craziest thing that a woman ever did to get your attention, money bag, what's that? To get my attention? To get your attention, man. Big. I'm talking about a fan. Crazy fan. Nigga, I had a big goddamn uh, put me try to put me on child support. No, never you metal. can't get no crazier than that. Listen, never metal. Okay. And 
sent the police to my house, never touched this lady, nothing. You I, sure after a drunken night, <laughs> you might have been man, with this I lady. I never touched this girl, ever. Did you know her at all? I did not know her. Mm. So how did you dispute this? Shit, I went. I had to. I had to go, go take a whole day. fraternity test. You Outside. bullshit! I swear on everything no, yeah. about a baby. I didn't even know this nigga's name. Wow. They're like, do you know a? <laughs> uh, like, hell no, I know the fuck that is. Woo woo. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> didn't have to go to court or none of that because the baby wasn't mine when it yeah. you know, came back. I'm like, then I found out later on. You know what I'm saying? Through somebody that knew of the girl that some kind of shit was going on, but she knew the girl who was doing that shit. So she was banking on you forgetting that you slept with her. Man, no, the bitch wanted me to come to court. She wanted me to see her in court. I guess that was going to be the first time we met. Ah, uh, got yeah. you. She, you yeah. think she was doing it for clout, trying to catch an Instagram moment with you? Probably. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling. But yeah, that's just outlandish, brother. Do some shit like that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. I was in a relationship at the time. Mm. And how did that affect your relationship? Uh, you know. He said at the time. At the time. Oh, okay, you, I know you don't give a fuck no more. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I ain't give a fuck then. I was waiting on that. <laughs> that probably guy answered my prayer because I was trying to get away from that bitch anyway. So okay. You know what I'm got you. Got you. Uh, are you a relationship guy, man? Or are you, you uh Man, I'm trying to be married, man. I'm tired of these hoes, man. That's that that's the conversation I was ready to get to. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of these hoes, man. I, I want to be married, man. Let's he, talk about it. Goodness, man. Like a lot of the man, look, man. Put us on. Cause somebody out there right now is thinking to themselves, man, M Moneybag has it all. Hey, all he does is do comedy. He's with 85 South, mm -hmm. travels the world, and he fucking hoes all day. What, do, what would you say to that young man? Uh, nigga, you ain't wrong, but I'm tired. <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 yeah. Bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> you was right. You was right. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be somebody hub, man. All this tricking off and these different personalities and shit. I'm tired of that shit. Okay, a lot of people say this, this, this popular right now that the dating pool is full of piss. Ooh. And I, 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 do you think that you could actually find this woman? And how do you expect to do that when everybody? Knows you, and you, 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 and everybody want to go home with you. Man, look, you gotta go. You gotta be a passport, bro. That's about one man. I'm finna mm. go get a bitch from goddamn uh, uh, Yugoslavia, man. Fuck it. What mm. the ninety day fiance is going? Yeah, on? I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna go Middle Eastern somewhere where they know how to let a man be a motherfucking man, man. I'm I'm the one standing up, do the pissing, and I do the fucking. We can't be two hey, alphas in the world. Trying to hear that bullshit. <laughs> can't be two alphas. <laughs> All that two alpha shit. I ain't with all that, man. It's crazy you said that because uh, when I was at the barbershop <laughs> today, they had the exact same conversation. And they were saying how you can go to Africa, build a mansion for 40000 and have four wives, and everybody just doing whatever the fuck you want them to do for you. Mm -hmm. That don't sound bad. It don't. That don't sound bad at all. Uh, well, I'm confused. N not confused. I'm just trying to understand when you say you want somebody going to let a man be a man. So you dealing with women that that's shit, not... Man. You dealing with women that's not letting you be manly? No, I mean, they feel like they the motherfucking man, too. We both can't wear the drawers, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I need a motherfucker. Elaborate on that. Now, like, a woman that's not letting you to be the man, what is she doing that's, quote, unquote, manly? Man. Put, right. put the ladies on. Like, bro, you, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you just, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm a little high. It's okay. When we you, low. When she was aggressive. No. She. You challenging me. Mm. Oh. Stop challenging me. What's oh. a challenge? What, talk, like, when you talk about a double dare, or listen, what, what do you mean? At the end of the day, let's say if you and your, <laughs> let's say you and your girl in the house, any man in here, you and your girl in the house, somebody kick the door in. Mm -hmm. What's she going to do? Hey, you. you Come to you. Somebody go down she there. going to hide behind you. That's what you're supposed to do. Do it all the time. Hide behind me all the time. Not just when your life in danger. Yeah. Oh, now it's time to be a man. Oh, when it's time to open the door, it's time to be a man. When it's time to pay for something, it's time to be a man. When I tell you to shut the fuck up, it ain't time to be a man no more. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Type shit like, it, little shit like that. I don't want to get too oh, personal. You shouldn't have to tell her to shut right the now. fuck up, though. What should I tell her? She, I mean, you shouldn't have to go there. She should know her place and her role and how to play it. Easy That's to say, but you. what if you dealing with a woman who just ain't never dealt? She's been... She's been the dominant one in all her situations. That seems so, like what he's dealing so, with. Yeah. But the thing is, is, is you saying she should know, and maybe she just don't know because she's never had a man to take control of certain things. Right. So with him telling her, shut the fuck up, it's like, that's new to her. Like, hold up, don't talk to me like no, I'm that. I'm pretty sure a nigga done said that before. 
Uh, maybe bro maybe niggas done said that before. These women are grown now. I'm that to the point where I'm, not, I'm just using that as like a <clears throat> Listen, like a. I'm the nigga that say it. I'm pretty sure another nigga probably did it physically. I'm mm. the nigga that just say it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Right. So, okay. <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's just a respect level, man. It's a respect. I, I'm big on respect. I respect you. I feel like everybody have roles. Yeah. A car has a steering wheel. Motherfucking glove part. Like, it, we have roles. Though. Everybody have Ain't no car true. got two steering wheels. That's true. That's, that's true. That's, that's, that's never, okay. I never seen that car. Well, hold on. Okay. I've never seen that car. <laughs> Driver's head. It's that's, a flag. That, 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 is, that is so true. I get, I get it. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, though, with women, man. Especially. I know. Niggas be trying to be patient. Damn. And women do, too, because you have so many women out here nowadays that they've been the man in, in most relationships and in their household. And you know what I want to say to that? Man of what? Go get you a motherfucking girlfriend. Go scissor. Wow. Go do that. Like, quit. If you know you this masculine woman and this is what you used to, stop coming to masculine men with that energy. Like, go get you a girlfriend. Go scissor. Go do that over there because it ain't going to never work unless you check yourself first before you get into a situation like that. I mean, I can get that, but I'm just saying, though, will you be patient with her and try to, if you if you know that, right, you know this woman, she don't tell you her, her life, and she just, and you see it. Sometimes they're not even aware of it, but they're just regular. You can be patient with her and just be like, hey, that ain't how you talk to me. That ain't how you talk to a man. That ain't do 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 I done been there. I done tried to be patient. And that's when it get to niggas yelling at they woman. Because right. it don't start off like that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? To get to a point where we keep telling you the same motherfucking thing. It used to be, baby, can you please be quiet? Baby, can you please stop? And, and you don't get it. So now it's like, shout it, shit, please. The fuck out of here with that shit. Now, this is the type of energy we got to give so y'all. So, and I be trying oh. to tell women, if we masculine and you giving us masculinity and we know we more masculine than you, we always have to top that. And then it, that's, that's what makes it toxic because you're not in your soft era. Shit. I want to be in my... Sweetheart era, a gentleman era. I want to bring up his flowers and I want to do shit like that. But yeah. give me a reason to. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm I'm on I'm dead where I'm at. I'm gonna be soft. I'm so tired of being so. You feel me? Like damn, just I don't want to stand on no no more business. I'm gonna stand on business. I ain't gonna never uh, stop that. Not on like that. I mean, like being a woman, <laughs> like being a man, As like a woman. standing on business. With yeah. no, just you can do it. Please do it. Let me float. Like I just said, that's I want to float on the boat. Okay, let me ask you a question. Like, do you feel like a woman that I don't, don't want to say have a lot of bodies or nothing, but a, a woman that was real promiscuous, right? Do you feel like that make it hard for her to date? Like when she's when she's ready to be serious, do you, you don't feel like none of all that shit, them different personalities she done been through, affect her? Yes, yes, it do. How do it affect her? First of all, just spirits like she don't been with a lot of men. All them, all them things being inside her body. So I believe, I wholeheartedly believe in things like that. Like you have them soul ties, them spirits, and y'all on incline, incline together and all that stuff messed up. So she just, and women, let's just say she been permissive, she been with that man, that man, we we cope with our man. Like if I got a man and he smokes cigars, of course I'm finna have smoke cigar too. And so now my bitch that smokes cigars, this nigga here like soccer. Now I know how to play soccer. Now I know how to ride horses. This nigga here <laughs> breed dog. <laughs> <laughs> now I now I got some friends you say. This nigga breed dog. This nigga, <laughs> you don't took all that in. So now this bitch is just crazy. That's all I want. So now she's just crazy because she got all that in her because you know, you know what I'm saying? She just So you saying when you mix all the nuts together and you create a whole new nigga. And whatnot, you taking on different personalities, and what so you you become the, uh, a whole different type of polar, not even not even not being even aware of you it. Ten, I think so. You're ten yeah. polar, are you yeah. twenty polar? Yeah, yeah, she is, she is. She might not know it, but she is, and she wondering why she can't find herself or be be the woman that the man that she probably really loved now and want to settle down with. She can't be that woman that she want for him because, and then it, it affects her if the man know her reputation too. Okay. Some men can deal with that. Some men can't deal with a, a lot of people saying he had a girl. I can deal with that shit. But if I can I deal ask, with it too. Yeah. If I ask you how many people you done been with, I don't give a fuck about the dick part. I'm trying to figure out how many niggas I'm going to have to deal with mentally in you. Oh, yeah. That's, I, I never looked at it like that, but it is a lot. I can deal with it if I don't know these niggas. If I know these niggas. Oh, yeah. If you hit a problem. homie, it's a dub. 
Yeah, if if you your if your number in my, if the niggas numbers in my phone, then there's a problem. Yeah, you but what if you just know of the man? Oh, that's cool. He can talk about me behind yeah, my back. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's different. Cool. But like a homie or something, like you come to me like, yeah, you know, being your home, but woo, woo, woo. I don't give a fuck how much we in love. It's yeah. a, as soon as you get out the tub, it's a dub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a motherfucking dub. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dating this really cool chick right now. I mean, she do every, she checking off all the boxes. Where you work at? Say what? <laughs> Say where you work at? Where you, you, you know, it's not a pronoun. It's really a girl. Okay. It's, it's really, it really is. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> not a pronoun. Yeah. Yeah. She she a blackjack dealer at a casino, and uh, yeah, she she bisexual, which is dope as fuck. Okay. Uh, she she take it in the ass. Um, uh. she eat my ass. Um, she, what about the other shit, man? Like, do she cook for you? Oh, do she, she take care to you like, is she, is she, is she oh, nurturing? Is she there for you? No, I'm saying like, yeah, I, I was gonna say that too. He was oh my there. god! I, I was gonna go there. I was definitely gonna go there. I can't, but your your wedding vows gonna be crazy. They they was they used to be, yeah, but now um you know on this <laughs> I don't I don't know if I actually want to go to that the, the actual ceremony or the 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 the, uh, the the traditional way of getting married but I could definitely be with someone for the rest of my life that shares these type of traits and whatnot you know what I'm saying because I I don't I didn't like I, I got married and divorced before and just the whole process of it is some bullshit because it take too long is is uh, expensive a lot for of no money. reason mm -hmm. yeah it's not it's not cool but just being able to say, hey, man, so, uh, shit, how long you going to be here? When can you get the fuck out? That shit went <laughs> way better for me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't, being, um, having a past, that don't bother me yeah, at all. It don't bother me. It's just how it affects you today moving forward. Like, if I see that shit still fucking with you, uh, that's a fight you ain't going to never win. Yeah, you, being extra flirtatious, <clears throat> or, when I say extra flirtatious, I mean, like, don't be DMing no niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nobody to be able to say, I fuck Jack Thriller Girl and whatnot. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, I tell this story all the time. And uh, me and homeboy almost got into it a couple weeks ago about the shit. But back when I was married, uh, the lead singer in Soul For Real, he had DM my wife, right? Damn. Yeah. And so I checked the nigga. I was like, hey, man, nigga, what the fuck you in my uh, my girl uh, DM I'm going to kill you when I see you. No, nah, I said, nigga, I'm going to beat the candy-coated raindrops up out your ass. <laughs> like, have you ever loved someone so much you thought you died, nigga? <laughs> yeah, nigga, he going to tell me. He gonna tell me that was his assistant and whatnot. His assistant be going out. Nigga, you know that was fucking you, Jason. That was your Damn. ass, Jason. Damn. Fuck out here. man name. What he DM'd her? Uh, he, he was like, hey, what's up, Shadow? Um, uh, Shorty, because we was in New York at the time. Shorty. Yeah, yeah. She was like, he was like, um, yo, uh, well, he just said, what's up? And the what's up was, that was too far for me. Damn. <laughs> That was too far for me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and so she got pictures of you on her page and everything. All that. And we, we was in the same default picture. Oh, yeah. It's, we yeah, like yeah. this. It's disrespectful at this point. Yeah, it was disrespectful. Yeah. He said he was trying to get my attention. <clears throat> what? You got it, nigga. You got it. <laughs> I almost fucked up. I, I, I came to their concerts and all kind of shit, man. We, we had them got down, uh, talked about it back, backstage and stuff. He apologized. We best friends now because oh. I ain't with the bitch no more. It's funny how when you get up with a bitch, <laughs> then it's, it's cool. We didn't have kids, so it was easy. To you know, get over the shit. You got kids? Though? No, I don't have kids. Okay. I, I pull out. I got a condom on right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. You just never know. This man so fake. Hey, what's up, man? You know what time it is? It's foodie call. Now, what a foodie call is? Like I told you, that's when you take a girl out and she had no intentions of giving you some, but you didn't spend a lot of money. So today we got Gigi Maguire and we got another comeback because it's comeback season with Chef Torres. Yo, Gigi, tell us what Chef Torres got for us today. Show us the money. It's your girl, Gigi Maguire, Miss Show Me The Money In The Building. And one thing for certain, two things for sure, I'm always ready to eat. I stay ready to put something in my mouth. It might be some food, it might be some dick, it might even be some pussy. But um, today we got some sushi, and um, I, I like these uh, options that we have going here, especially the raw ones, because in the words of ODB, oh baby, we like it raw. Just joking. Uh, Safe sex always. Condoms oh, first. Shit. <laughs> okay. It's getting hot in here. <clears throat> hey, Chef. How you doing? I'm good. 
pleasure to be in your presence. It's a pleasure to be in yours as well. I love me a man that can cook now. Put it, all, mm. put it all where it's supposed to be and put you straight to sleep. It's giving the itis. So what, what do you got right there? So we got uh, we got your spring rolls. I like to consider some healthy options. You're going to put it in your mouth and put it in your body. Let's make sure it's going to do something good. So we go with the spring rolls that uh, involve vegetables, fresh ingredients, cucumber, avocado, carrots. Uh, and what lady doesn't like a little crab meat? Right, Gigi? We love the crab meat. Absolutely. I had crabs one time. Yeah. Never mind. Don't even worry about that. But yeah. Those you, crabs you had ain't had no meat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they ate all my meat. They, they tried to eat all my meat, though. They tried <laughs> to eat all my meat. <laughs> Yo, to, Chef you to, take the claws off. You got to take, yeah, you got to take them claws off. Oh, yeah. Crabs, no claws. So if you're going on a foodie call, uh, let me ask you this. Gigi, you just tasted that right there. Uh, and what do you call that, Torres? Spring rolls. S- spring. And we got a vegetable roll as well. Got you. What do you feel? Well, how do you feel about that, Gigi? Well, um, one thing for certain, two things for sure. I love me a nice, thick, long cucumber. Okay. Cucumber um, challenge. So, I, and a carrot as well, you know. Okay. So I'm, I'm here for the veggies. Okay. I'm here for the rice because, you know, we got to keep it nice. And clean. Um, and clean. Um, the crab meat and the cream cheese, you know, we love a little cream filling. I'm here for all of it. The only thing is going on a foodie call and having sushi, I'm not going to get that foodie call orgasm that I need because as soon as I get my ass back home, I'm going to be hungry again. Absolutely. Oh, so call the chef. So it sounds like a whole nother foodie call. You you making it a double foodie call. I mean, this is you know this is this is giving a little daytime rendezvous. This is giving a little lunch, little lunch meat, little lunch mate foodie call. Two dates you know in one day. I it's, love it. It's giving happy hour. Got you. You know. You hard to keep up with, Gigi. It's giving let's get things started. Mm. But I might need me a good tomahawk by the end of the night. Oh damn! All right. Bone in. Damn, Torres, you can accommodate right there. No doubt, absolutely. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as as you need. T- hey, tell them, tell them how they can follow you, uh, uh, Chef Torres. So you can follow me on Instagram at Chef Torres, T-E-R-E-S, not a Z. You, you will travel, right, for that foodie call? Oh, I'm going to travel. I'm going to show up right at your doorstep. Hey, we got to bring you back, Chef Torres. That's right. So All right, and right. that's your foodie call, goddamn featuring Gigi Maguire. Let's go. Bad. <laughs> so look, I, I wanted to ask uh, a few seconds ago. You said you don't care about how many bodies she had, right? Yeah. But um, bodies on top I think of bodies. Jack said, on top of bodies. Jack said it just can't be nobody she knows. So would you rather that have I a girl know. that date? Would you rather have a girl that date? I mean, that had let's say sixty people, right? And you don't know none of them. I'm lying. Compared bro. to a girl <laughs> that only had three people, and you know one of the one of the three. Man, listen. At the end of the day, we all got motherfucking problem, man. Compared to her 60 body nigga and the shit that I done, the whole right. I done took up through there, how I'm going to judge you? Okay. That's a Knowing, good answer. Huh? That's a good answer. Knowing I done fucked one of your homegirl before that. <laughs> Probably. I, I, I can't judge you. I can't look at you and be like, oh, you, now let me not, let me, it, it ain't going to sit right with me. You tell me you got 60 body. I'm like, damn, because you just, ain't nothing sacred about you. You just give it away. Like, ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Right. But other That's than that. That's not true, bro. Uh, man, man, you man, can't please. do that. Man, please. You can't do that. <clears throat> 60? Yeah, dog. No. <clears throat> I know, oh, I know a lot girl. of people that got 60 bodies at the minimum. In, 60 bodies and you in your female. 20s? Now, hold on. How, how old you is? I'm 35. Okay, you 35. 60 bodies divided by, let's say, 15 years. That ain't that much. That ain't that much. That's like averaging about four bodies a year. That's a lot, nigga. Four bodies a year, bro. Four bodies for, for a woman? For a year? Yeah, a whole year. Nigga, that's a lot. Four bodies a year is not crazy, bro. For a woman? Bro, that's four seasons. <laughs> that's every time the weather changes, she got a new nigga. She got a new nigga. <laughs> yeah. oh, every oh, time the season changes, yeah. she got a new nigga. And you got to understand, and she, did that for she, put a lot, she put a lot of miles on that motherfucker. Hold on, so ladies, y'all agree with that? I have a that? question. I have a question. When, he, when you say she put a lot of miles on it, right? So let's say you have a young lady who has only had two sexual partners in her lifetime. She's 30 years old, Right. The second sexual partner, she's been with him for 10 years, and they have sex five times a day, right? So they fucking and fucking and fucking over. Oh, fucking. really, theoretically. They fucking and fucking, right? Okay. Now you, have a, <clears throat> now you have the girl who's in her 30s, and she didn't have 60 bodies. What's the difference? Man, you got 60 bodies. That's 60 different dicks. 
Straight legs, hooks, that small. <laughs> this, this, the but pussy if the pussy getting, if the pussy going to pound town, it's going to pound town. Oh, if it's going on the, if it's going on the private jet oh. or on Delta. But what first you said class, about mentally either earlier way it's going too, to pound though. Town. Oh, baby, that's different. The mental, you gotta understand. the mental part of it. Huh? The, the mental, the mental part, part of the soul part of ties. It, like what you said earlier. Man, so that, that would be the issue, that or it's the different be. dicks that's the issue. As far as what are we talking about now? As far as what? As far as the difference. Which one would you rather? I'd rather What's have the difference. The, who the fuck would not have the bitch that got two niggas? Like, that just make more sense. No, it so make, the, I, I, I hear what you're saying right there, but you know what? You know, <coughs> you know what's fucked up for me when inside relationships when you get a boring ass bitch. And that's what I'm about to say, because if she only got two niggas that she on, that she's ever been with her take life, she ain't, she ain't never been nowhere. She ain't never did nothing. She don't know nothing. Come on. But now her back art, right, she can't take no dick. She Come ain't on. sucking dick, right? Because yeah, she ain't had no experience. It. Come on, now. that's the bad part you, about she, it. She need that mouth work, bro. Uh, she not, when, when you get the training in the motherfucker the way you, I don't want you to do because it ain't 60 niggas, ain't shit new I can do with you. Nothing. Hold oh, on, on, time out. You mean tell me 60 niggas and you, is something out there you ain't did yet? Why? Right. Because I'm still learning stuff. I mean, you learn something new every day. Kind of. Not I... with that, man. What else What, what else you going to do with two niggas that understand them? Fucking a pussy, fucking the ass, 69, Eli ass. Like, you done did that 60 <laughs> people. Come on, guys. You going to run into a goddamn... A Jeffrey Dahmer and that nigga going, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> out, of, out of 60 people, bro. Hey, dog, when a woman say, <clears throat> whenever I've been with a woman and she says some shit like she's saving her asshole for marriage and whatnot, so I, I, I need to try the asshole out first. Yeah, but that'd be, the, that'd, be the, that'd be the point of, you know, niggas, we conquerors. Like, we want to be the one to say we did something we did new. First. So if you got okay. 60 niggas and I'm like, hey, Shit, you ever suck the turd out of nigga ass? Ew. <laughs> this how deep you got to think after 60 niggas. Ew. I can't be like, you ever ate a nigga ass? I know you done ate a nigga ass. You ever been shitted on? Ew. <laughs> let, me, let, me body, let me shit and body paint you with it. Ew. <laughs> That's Jack, gross. Jack, listen. <laughs> I'm just saying, for the sake of doing something new, this how deep you got to dig, bro. All right, this is the last thing I'm going to say about that. Man, I, I, so crazy, right, man. that was crazy. The last thing I'm gonna say about <laughs> he it said is that was crazy. You you get a different experience from every person you with, right? No. You don't get a different experience from My every person. My problem is with. now I feel like I'm running into the same motherfucking person over and over and over. What every kind of, time what you kind have, of experience you mean sexual? No, I'm just saying when you are with a different woman, is diff are you single right now? You're dating? Let's say you got two different girls that you going yeah, out I'm with. Yeah, I'm in right a relationship. Now. All right. So so <laughs> Thank you. So so Thank let me you. So, I'm in a relationship. There you go. So, what the fuck so, was that? Yeah. So Jack, who this is? Jack. Who this is? Hypothetically. Know she, I didn't know she was going to do it. I didn't know she was going to do it. Hypothetically, I'm just asking. Hypothetically, okay. I'm just asking. Okay. Hypothetically, and, I'm, and this is to all I'm the men in, in the room. Hypo and even to you Erica. Hypothetically, when you are dating, right? And you go on a date with Date one, and then next week you go on a date with date two. The experience you had with date one, even if y'all go to the same restaurant and all of that, the experience is going to be different, right? But the experience I is always so. going to be, to a certain extent, it's going to be good because it's new. Ain't nobody's, you know, comfortability done leak like this. Them just, you know, flings and shit. It's going, of course, it's going to be good in the beginning. I'm talking about when you dealing with people for the long haul. Like then what? Shit get weird. But in the beginning, it'd be fun, right? With everybody. It'd be the same shit with everybody. It don't be the same. 80% of the time. I say 80% of the time. 80% of the time, bro. She's saying it's different because it's of the... The interactions and the, the, interactions the interactions, the energy, the chemistry that you have with each person is going to be different. You're not going to have the same conversation. You're not going to have the same feeling that you have with this girl that you have with that girl. And it's it's, it's a catch-22. But when oh, it comes to women, we have but, those same experiences. The same, John ain't going to treat me like Paul treats me. But you know what? And well, I'm not going to have that the, same energy with them. I get that. That's coming from a woman. From a, okay. So they just don't get that? We, okay. Yeah. All we right. different. A man. That because, yeah, at, man, men, all we thinking about is sex at the end of the first date. They be like, man, I fuck. I, ain't even, like, I don't even be thinking about that. That's what I'm saying. I'm at that on point. the first date, you ain't thinking about hitting it? Oh, you ain't hitting oh, it? it? Really, if I'm going to take you out, I look at you. It's bigger than that. If I just want to fuck you, I'll tell you to meet me somewhere. Like, uh, I'm, uh, you going to know what's going on. If I'm willing to take you out, I really want to understand, you know, get to know you type shit. I ain't stressed by no pussy. I, I feel like the initial uh, introduction always has a little bit of sexual connotation laid. laid I mean, we all know that women. Like, you ain't that. about to give a man yet. You ain't about to try to talk to a woman if you don't feel like you, one day you want to see how she feels inside. Like, you like the way she looks, so you want to eventually get to see how she feels. And even as a woman, when we decide to go ahead and give you that number or you know, know whatever, then we look at you, we give you that one over, like, eh, I might fuck him one day. 
might not be today, but he he possibly could get the pussy. So let me go and see what he give him give him my number and see what he talking about. See where we can go. But but, but as women we get shamed for that. I ain't thinking about having sex. As women we get shamed for that. I don't know. Like that's I said, Black call. Birthday, no, 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 I don't no. be tricked. That's a foodie call right there, my boy. I'm, I'm to the point now. I don't, even, I don't even get my num out no more. Like, man, we text but on Instagram. But you in a relationship. Three, four months. Right? You, please, listen. Uh, Jack, <laughs> how, much, how much long oh we got? God. How much long we got, Jack? <laughs> how much long we got, oh Jack? I thought, I thought we was building. We no, tearing no, me no, down. No, no, we, 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 we building. Uh, okay, cool. Because that was, that was happening. Yeah. That was, I'm in a relationship. That was happening. Yeah. I love that for you. Stop it. Stop. Damn. I'm saying I'm to the point where, you know, before <laughs> I didn't give out my motherfucking number because, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't deserve that. That's true. And I'm to the point where you might not deserve it, dick. I'm not no thirsty nigga to want no pussy like that. You might not deserve me. Just saying. Wow. So w- w- at what so? point does a woman deserve you? When she, she get that earn. dick. You know, when, when she when, know how to shut the fuck up. When she know how to shut the fuck up. Like, I give any bitch some dick, but for me to really, you know what I'm saying, move the way I move, okay. and have you with me around and be able to tell the cameras in front of everybody that I'm in a relationship. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's when she got me. Period. The 100%, 100%, yep. man. Now, you on some major tours right now, bro. Mm-hmm. You like can't? What's the difference between rocking uh, a, a, a a comedy club and an arena? For, oh, for, man, for, I feel, for, I feel like er, everybody will tell you, bro, that I feel like you feel the same way. Like that intimate shit. You done did stand up. Yeah, you know that intimate shit from them comedy clubs just different, bro. Like, don't get me wrong, doing them arenas is amazing, bro. It's like all the work that paid off. But them comedy clubs that do be the work that pay off for you. It do, but bro, it ain't nothing like from them motherfucking people stomping on the marina floor. Yes, sir. Pole. Yes, sir. Yes, that sir. shit get kind of scared. That shit. That shit different. It's different. Yeah, it is different. Like I said, I'm 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 thankful for that shit, brother. Be in this position. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I, I look at it both of them the same. But did you ever think it was gonna get this far? Hell yeah. I, it ain't it ain't went, it ain't went never ain't been no in your mind. It ain't nowhere near far as it gonna be though when it's all said and done. What it look like? What it look like in the end for you? Listen, man, I might buy heaven when this shit over with. Okay. <laughs> you talking about gold. Might buy heaven. I might buy heaven. This, this, that's what you talking about. Gold. Might buy heaven. You know what I'm God, damn, how much heaven costs? Okay. Oh man. God, that God, you hear that? Yeah, that? You know what I'm saying? You got a for sale sign up there? <laughs> What's going on, man? What, what's uh, going for, baby? You gotta get on yeah. Zillow to find out. You gotta get on is. Zillow. But you're thinking small. <laughs> yeah, what, man, what, you need to think what, big, bitch. What is Heaven's area code out this motherfucker? Tell him. We're gonna find out though. I can dig it. I can dig it, man. Yo, so what's non-negotiables when it when it comes to dating, bro? Non-negotiable? This might be typical, but bro. I don't like no liar, bro. I hate a liar. Like, I ain't the type of nigga you gotta lie. Can you give him an example what definitely counts as a lie? It's lying, like, you know, lying, nigga, not telling the truth. Like, if you doing something with other people and, you know, you a lie about it, like, that's, Mm. I I can't deal with that. Mm. Too many diseases going around these days. I'm the only one that should be fucking raw. Mm. 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 (laughs) I can fuck all the other whole raw. You can't fuck all the nigga raw. No, no, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, There's too much shit going on. Yeah, if you if you gonna definitely be be cheating out there or you know you being promiscuous, make sure you putting on a condom. You know the, the booty hole different though, cause it you can't really. I don't. What, nah, nah, that's the, that's, that's the worst of the worst. That's worst. I don't worst. know, cause I never. I ain't gonna catch. Well, you bleed I, I, back then, my boy. I fuck with that too. That's worst. You feel you, cause you don't Man, really look. You look, come on now. My you, best, you, okay. This is my dog. I, 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 you know, I don't even know where to stay, so I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it a bean. I fuck with it too, shit. Yeah, yeah. The wrong booty hole, man. All right, we gonna get too deep into it, Jack. All right, cool. We the, only, <laughs> we, we the only two niggas on board with this conversation. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I mean, I can't join in because I, I'm still like version right there, like for real. Mm-hmm. So you been goddamn fucking all the time. You ain't let nobody goddamn get in that hole. Mm-mm, they try, but it's just it's uh, a good time. It's a good time. I heard. I'm here for it. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah. yeah That's what I heard. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> what's 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 stopping you from success? Nigga says success. <laughs> <laughs> well, like right now, like the, my current partner that I may have, like now, like hey, yeah, yeah, because he might be going tomorrow, but right now he's still. On the list, but I don't know his penis too big. Mm-hmm. 
How big is his penis? Oh, God damn. <laughs> Too big for that booty hole. <laughs> that motherfucker ain't never been right. If you, if you really want to try, I can give you some tips that I learned from a porn star. Yeah, please. Can you help her? You going to help me? I, yeah, please help me. Yeah. I, need, I need to know. So, guys. um, we're all familiar with Lisa Ann, right? That's my homegirl. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> come on, Barbara. Look at so, you. <laughs> yeah. So, Lisa Ann was on lip service, and she gave us some tips from a pro on anal because myself at the time hadn't had anal in a very long time, and I was scared to try it again because just like my nipple piercing, I thought that hole had closed back up and wasn't nothing going to get in there. You thought so, your booty hole closed up? I, just, to the, just to the point where I couldn't fit dick in it no more. Okay. I mean, we know it's open. It's, you know, oh, yeah. It yeah. got the... But, but I just thought that, you know, I ain't going to be able to take dick in my ass because it's been so long. And I was, in fact, dealing with a man who was well endowed. Yeah. So What's I asked, well endowed? Just out of A fear. big dick. What's a big dick? Big enough that you got to stretch your lips all the way till they don't stretch no more in order to fit it in your mouth. Big enough that he just can't ram it. Oops, I missed and get the, get it up in that asshole. You know what I'm saying? Big <laughs> enough that you got to take some tips from a porn star in order to make it work. Yes. So what Lisa Ann told me was... I don't have a big dick. Damn. Besides... <laughs> That's why I was trying to see what was going on. <laughs> Because I don't have none of these problems. Like, <laughs> so, you can, so you can be having vaginal yeah. sex and oops and slip up and end up in a booty hole with no problem. Yeah. Oh, that's a little dick. Well, no, 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 no. no I, I still, I still, no, not, not like that. I still on, have to work my way in. Uh, okay. But it's not, it, it ain't crazy. No. Okay. I've been told I have a real pretty dick. So, so one potato, two potato? Three potato? Yeah. One, but I would say uh, about, about one, one potato, like it's a, that, that, like a t potato like, about right there. Okay. About right, <laughs> okay. With, yeah, right there. It's so, not really baby jarring, but right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. Yeah. So these tips that she gave me was, um, for one, of course, we know to relax, right? Do not clench your jaw, because when you clench your jaw, by default, your booty hole clenches too, right? That oh, was the for first real? Thing. Like... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tighten up. Don't tighten oh. like that, for one. For two, you can prep your... Anus, your booty hole, okay. with um, with butt plugs. So butt plugs come in an array of sizes. They actually come in a, a one, two, three kit where you can get like small, medium, large. And the third thing that she said is to use silicone-based lube. Now we all know we love KY jelly uh, with the blue top, right? That's our go-to, or well, at least was my go-to when new. it comes to the booty hole, okay. right? Oh. But but that's water-based. You don't want to go water-based well, okay. because it's going to dry faster and it's not going to give you that slippery slippage that you want that the silicone base is going to give you. Okay. So you go silicone base lube. You start with the small butt plug in your own time. You work yourself up to the big butt plug and then you relax and don't clench them jaws. And when it's time for him to slide that thing up in there, baby, if you hot and ready, then you're ready to go. And we do all this at the same time. Yeah, this is time. one serving? No. It's no, one serving no, of dick? No, no, no. You work your way up to it. You work your way up to it. This is one serving of dick, right? To get the dick in the ass, that's what you got to do. All of that. If... If it's that big and you need to stretch your booty hole to get it ready, then yes. If it ain't that big, oh, it's not for me. Okay, then you go it. straight to the the silicone lube and you don't go to the the butt plugs. I personally like a butt plug though. Like I, I like. I'm I saying like you, the butt plug. You Make just my nipples you, hard. <laughs> The butt plug, you just put it in. You just put those yeah. in. I mean, I put and they I put and they stretches your whole. Yes. You gotta get you one. Yeah. Get you one that's appealing, like yeah. you know, one that light up. Like get one that got your blood pressure on it. Okay. I got, I got, I have a set of three um, of the chrome ones that got the little rhinestone on the back. Yeah, see, yeah. I like shit like that. Yeah. A lot of shit like that be women don't understand that that shit like that. It means something. Like you got to you got lighten up. If you okay. dancing for your a, nigga, like okay. a, a if she chrome, come in dancing, it look like a little I'm fade. Butt plug light up, and you just but you ain't gonna be able to see it if it's inside of you. It's no, it's it's a hole. The back part is yeah. like a it's like a, a circle like that. That's the part that's out of your it's like ass. a big ass rhinestone. That stop it from going and that stop in it your from ass. actually going in because if it go up in there and it get so, lost, then you are gonna have to shake like a spade. Think about so, it. So yeah, two questions: Is it reusable and do you use the can you clean it in a dishwasher? Yes and yes, actually. It is reusable. Yes and yes. Who would clean that shit I'm in a dishwasher? I'm personally not putting my uh, butt plugs in the dishwasher. I'm just <laughs> go ahead and wash them out in the sink with some antibacterial soap. But and let a lot of women dry. don't understand that. I done hit a lot of women in the ass because they push with trash. Like, that's what I'm talking about, bro. They don't know that's, that. that. That's, a lot of hey, women don't only, know that. Like this shit ain't it. Like, it's too big because some of these hoes is puppets. Shit be you can dry put your whole sometime, hand on. You know, you got to frog. Do something else. Some tight. Something that's going to pull on that dick. Yeah. This ain't pulling on yeah. nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? 
I'm saying wow. when you say you don't pull it, like they too big. Tell them, they, tell them. Man, it's too I mean, wide. It just, I, I wouldn't even say too wide. I don't get that. I'm saying like wall. too, they, too dry. Thing. Dry. Oh, too dry. That is the thing. And no they got walls, it confused. Not a just as well as we get, we get up in age and have erectile dysfunction and shit. I done talked to the doctor saying that y'all shit, y'all shit go south too. The shit y'all eat, absolutely, all that. So, but then a woman would be like, "Yeah, nigga, you don't tire me out." Had me feeling lame yeah, for a that, long yeah. time. Like and I thought right. it was me. That's not right. Yeah, yeah that pre that premenopausal pussy will, will, will turn a trick on you in the wrong way. But that ass will never do that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that, you ain't never had no bad <laughs> ass, have you? Pre premenopausal, pre premenopausal, you ain't never, never had, had bad, bad ass. asshole. Never. Come on, man. I never met an asshole I didn't like. Hello. <laughs> please, please, man. Oh, These people are crazy. You never had no bad ass. A lot of women don't understand that they got good woe out pussy. Yeah, that's true. It's some good woe out pussy. Mm. This shit wet as fuck, but this shit, boy, this shit, you can't feel nothing. You can't feel it. You can't. you can't feel shit, but yeah. it's wet. I almost drowned in the pussy, so I yeah. came to the butt. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they think they be doing something when they, they drown. They be doing something. That's not good. Sometimes it be good woe out pussy. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Um, Moneybag, have you ever faked the orgasm? Hell yeah, I spit on a bitch back all the time. Wow. I will spit on a bitch oh back. I will pull out. Oh my gosh, MB. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, it's so good. It. Wow. This was so good. So why do we fake an orgasm? Because you know it's not going to happen or because of the smell or what? It'd be a lot of, like I said, sometimes the pussy just ain't it. Like, I ain't finna just keep sitting up here huffing and puffing, knowing. Shit. Yeah. Blowing your house down. Knowing we ain't got down, we ain't getting nowhere. This shit dry, my dick hurt. Ouch. I'm finna spit on you. Oh I'm finna God. spit on you. I'm finna spit right on that back. Uh-huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's Have the you? first I've heard of that one. Have you ever thought? Have you ever thought? Uh, uh, pretended like you was gonna skeet on a girl and you peed on her? Uh, yeah, most definitely not. Nigga. Okay, <laughs> the fuck, just me. Uh, 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 just me. Okay, got you. You know, peed on a girl in the shower. I do it all the time. I think that's a nigga thing. Can we yeah, all agree yeah, with that? Yeah, niggas. Yeah. I pee. Can we all back. agree? Like niggas a dog for real. Like yeah. we really be claiming our territory yeah. in the shower. Like. Yeah. But it was, it, it, listen, but I did I did it. <laughs> she ain't like that. I've never heard A while heard back, this. listen. I've heard that, it. Yeah. I was heavy on, I was you drinking heavy. You been peed on, Erica, you just Yeah, you did been peed, you been peed on. But, but I was I, drinking I, heavy. A nigga peed in my bed before. No, nigga peed on your if leg. If you and a man were in the shower before, nine times out of ten, he you peed, peed on, on your leg. And mm -hmm. it just blended in with the water, you had no idea. We dog, you know how a dog will wear the tree up? <laughs> yep. We want nigga to smell that pee like, yeah. oh, he. Oh, you got a you got a nigga, don't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He marked his territory. I done peed in a girl coochie hair in the shower. When we were kissing and shit, I'd pee right in him coochie hair. Pee in her coochie hair. Mm -hmm. Oh mm. my god, this is just never happened. That never happened to you. Mm. Oh. No, I never peed on my coochie hair. Probably hair. You don't know. I don't, don't got know. no coochie hair. Oh, oh. damn. Mm. I do. You got right, landish right right roots. I have nothing. It's you completely bald. I, I had laser head. hair removal. It don't even grow no more. Hold on. So that's how I get rid of it. Hmm. So laser hair removal. Laser hair removal. What does this consist of and does it hurt? <laughs> it feels like you're getting popped with hot bacon grease for a few seconds. Like but, tattoo removal. Yeah, like tattoo. Exactly. It's the exact same laser. Oh, you got laser but, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not my, not not down there. I'm talking about my tattoo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. But um, it definitely, it kills the follicle and it turns your chocolate chip cookie to a sugar cookie. AKA mm -hmm. no dark spots. Like, well, I be wanting my, no I be, I be wanting no, my hair. Yeah, the dark spots come. You know from what? I heard that ain't hair. good though. What people don't understand is that the, the vaginal hair is is to it's, keep bacteria yeah. out. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So these, but the way we set up these day, they think that you know, it's it's not it's unappealing. Yeah, because they put on Instagram that you shave and all that stuff. Nah, but nigga, really, why do you even think he put the hair down now? But before, we, but we knocking everybody pH off. No. I mean, y'all are, but that's a different conversation. Men do that. But, I know but, we do, but... Okay. But it's not good to have your, um, your, your hair just removed, like, totally, though. I'm going to tell y'all what really not good. And it's good for, like, the morse of a woman. It keep, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about niggas that like a little stank? On some pussy in the ass. Like when he eat it. Am I the only nigga yeah, that I, I do I not like want a little it? I like a little twin. I like a little twin. Like I want it to smell that like ass. You, not ass, like stank ass, but I want it to smell that, like, okay, this is an ass, this is pussy. That marinated. I like that pussy day. thing. Cause it's like it's your it's, it's your flavor. Your own it tastes flavor. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you ever had a nigga eat your pussy and be like, 
That's that relate. That's that relationship. You ever had? That, have you ever heard that? That's, re- that's that relationship, mm. pussy, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's that, that's and, that. and and vagina's supposed to be like vagina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, women taking all the um yummies, um yummy. yummy. yummy uh, well, I ain't gonna name no brand, but taking all the um supplements. Yeah, uh-huh. that word. What is it word? Supplements. Yeah, supplements, and they. And, and taking all they, and they 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 stuff out of they you're disturbing they, your natural yeah, flora. Yeah, they juices, they diluting they juices. <sighs> if it, you know, so if that makes sense, and that's not really no, good because vagina supposed to smell like vagina, vagina, like yeah. coochie. Every time I want my just smell like coochie. water. Yeah. Nah, I don't need no, to smell like water. No, no. Yeah. So hold on. So when it smell like water or when it tastes like water, is that a bad thing? It's uh, not a bad man, thing. But she I mean, they, they be it. rapping and bragging about ain't it now. Like, ain't nothing rememberable. She did, rememberable she did, about she it. She done did something to it. I ain't, I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna give away the host. No, nah, you give away everything. Like, yeah, please. You done don't gave away my motherfucking but, relationship. Come I mean, on. I mean, GG. Now you want to hold back? So, so, so the supplements and the probiotics and you know the the one hundred percent cranberry juice diets. And you know it's a suppository or two that you can insert, and yeah. So this motherfucker just told I mean, me it's she good. can drink a lot of water. But no, that I, too. That's I, important. I, as I tell women to drink um um coconut, coconut water. Oh, coconut water is great too. Drink coconut water before you go have sex with a man, and let him give your vagina like a replenishment. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so on, on on that note, and don't have sixty bodies. Don't have because I was just about I, I was just about to this is this is last question real quick man so once again four seasons in a year four niggas a year that's too much once does it is everybody saying that yeah, that's yeah I said too that's too, that's too much that's too much yeah, yeah I can't yeah that is I mean me as a woman For fifteen years straight too much. I just think that's just too much that's I never dealt with more on than product, one guy bro. a year that's a lot of wear and tear on that product bro GG where you at. <sighs> G- Come on, Gigi. It's okay. I'm a straddle defense because I'm I am a I am a never say never type of woman. Don't and, ever say and, never. And, 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 and I can't say that. I mean, we in we in January and I, we're in February, and I've only had one sex partner for 2024. Okay. But um, Valentine's Day is in a couple of days, and if he don't come right, I'm be riding somebody else's dick. So that's gonna put me at two, and we ain't even hit March yet. See, I don't even celebrate Valentine's Day. I just told a bit, man. Hey. I give you a pad, baby. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Y'all gonna do it anyway. Yeah. For, the, for the sake of being up under a nigga for one day out of the year, you gonna get some pussy away. Okay. That's Dang. crazy. Gigi, you give a, you give a damn about Valentine's Day? I give a damn about every damn day. Okay. Life is short and we got to live it to the fullest because tomorrow ain't promised. So I'm gonna fucking celebrate that good dick I'm getting. Hey, uh, Playboy, you give a damn about Valentine's Day? Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's I mean, right. You in a relationship? Yeah. I mean, come on now. I'm sorry about that. Before, no, nah, <laughs> come on, you know me. I'm quick to say that. You a lover. You definitely a lover. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Erica, you give a damn about Valentine's Day? I do. I'm really, I'm very lovey-dovey. Very. Hey, uh, uh, Moneybag, if you don't get anything for Valentine's Day, is, is it a deal breaker? Hell no. I don't even celebrate that shit, so. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm a I'm gonna treat you like that all year round. If, you, if that's treat you know what you like what? Valentine's Day. You my oh, Valentine every hello. day, baby. You that's, feel me? That's sweet. Uh, ain't nothing to go, ain't nothing to go buy some flowers and take you out to eat. Fuck life out you. Show, fuck the life out you. That's nothing. that's every that's every day occurrence, right? Nothing. He said the life. <laughs> that's the anytime's times day. Yeah, you know okay. how I get out. Uh, yeah, I'll pass, shut up. I'll pass you a bitch for I pass you a blunt, man. That's okay. <laughs> okay. This my dog, man. That's he not lying man. about anything. <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, uh, money bag. Yeah. You know, this ain't the first time you've been on and damn show ain't gonna yeah. be the last time. Is anything you want to say to New Jack Thriller City before we get out here today? I appreciate you for having me, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, man. I appreciate you, man. E, everybody on this motherfucker today, man. Have fun. I will be back. Yeah. Come on, bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. I love you, MB, and congratulations on yes, everything. Yes, congratulations on everything. I can't wait till the world really get to see your, your full creativity because, you know, I... I dealt with you for a couple of years. Yeah, you, you fucked him? No. Hell no. Why would you say that? Please don't say that because he got down. You know, your people. Man, look. I, man, look. You know, I hate E. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the sake of her not arguing tonight. I what? fucking hate you. No, this is my like my brother, brother. You know that we was like in lock ins together. You, you ain't never fucked your brother before? Never, no, ever. Never. Okay. My yeah. dog. Ever. My None school. of them. That's princess, percent. right? That's yeah, princess. Whatever you, whatever. Princess, yep. You said okay. Yes, gotcha. and so um, we used to be in like lock-ins together, like doing doing COVID. No, 
when we used to um, be with ratchet people. <laughs> the ratchet, we, the ratchet we, day. Yeah. We really did. We really put in work. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Oh, gotcha. we, we had to be on our own and come up with 10 ideas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. We used to, that's why we telling people, I'm a real comedian. Ain't nobody wrote no jokes. We had to learn how to do all this shit on our own. And that's why probably I'm so strong at this shit the way I am. Come on now. But seeing money bag and the things he used to come up with, man. My brother's so creative. He's so oh, yeah. talented. And like he said, this is only the, the, the beginning, beginning of yeah. it. The that world ain't even seen nothing yet. And I just want to give you your flowers. And Yours keep... too, man. Happy birthday, man. Queen of the goddamn South. Queen of comedy. Thank you. And you know you shut shit down, man. Like I said, you know, we've been, I've been knowing, I don't been know about, 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 about 10 years, years bro. About 10 years. And everybody elevate, man. That shit. We are. Man. All of us. I, I don't know nobody like the real ones that was in our crew. Well, a couple of them. Kid man. Capri, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> kid, kid, yeah, kid Capri was in y'all. Oh, nah, I'm just, it was, don't, don't get That's sensitive. Don't get to see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> got you. Got you. But um, just give me your flowers and congratulations. Hey, man, y'all give it up for money, man. Yeah. Hey, DJ Samoa, take us out, man. New Jack through the city. New season. Third season. Let's go.